This tutorial focuses on the redesign of the QuickBooks Online Banking Center, which is now called the Bank Feed Center in QuickBooks 2014. The redesign of the online banking feature addresses several pain points, including the initial connection that would sometimes confuse our customers. The usability of this feature and the renaming rules for downloaded transactions have been improved. After completing this tutorial, you'll be able to utilize the redesigned Bank Feed Center. I'll start at the home page. I'll start with the improvement in the initial setup of online banking feeds. I'll go to the banking menu. I'll select Bank Feeds and then select Set up Bank Feed for an account. Notice that Bank Feed Setup is now displayed to customers in four steps. Step one of the Bank Feed Setup is Find Your Bank. The customer will type the name of their bank or credit card company in the field provided. The Bank Feeds Wizard will provide a list of results that match the name provided. In the Enter Your Bank's Name field, I'll enter Server. I'll click on the Server J Fiat Test from the matching results. Step 2 of the setup process is Connect. If the bank the customer selected offers Direct Connect, the customer will be prompted to enroll in Direct Connect. This will prompt customers to check their bank's enrollment site to ensure that they are enrolled in the Direct Connect service. Customers who are already enrolled just need to click Continue to proceed to Step 2 of the Bank Feeds setup process. I'll click the Continue button. The customer will enter their customer ID and PIN they use for online banking. To demonstrate, I'll enter the customer ID as OLB user and the PIN as OLB user. I'll click the Connect button. If the bank the customer selected offers only Web Connect, or the credentials entered don't link to a, an account that has Direct Connect enabled, a window will pop up to give the customer instructions on how to use the Web Connect to import transactions to QuickBooks. If there is an error when connecting to the bank server, the customer will see a list of the accounts that are held with the financial institution they selected. I'll click the drop-down to the right of Savings OLB User Save and select Savings from the list. Online banking setup is now complete. I'll click Connect and then I'll click the Close button. Now I'll go to the Banking menu and select Bank Feeds. Then I'll click Bank Feed Center. The Bank Feed Center is a redesign of the Online Banking Center. The customer will be able to sync QuickBooks with their financial institution, view the ending statement balance for their bank account, and compare it to the register balance in QuickBooks. They can also view messages and alerts from their bank, send online checks, bill statements, and balance transfers and confirm their status all from the same place. I'll click the Update button in the top right. Notice the sync options. Customers can sync for the accounts they selected or sync for all of their accounts under the same bank as the account they selected. Notice also the account information. The bank statement balance is on the left. The register balance for the account in QuickBooks is on the right. Notice the Send Items to Your Bank section. I'll click the Create New drop-down. Notice the different options here. And finally, notice the Read Messages from Your Bank section. This is an access point for confirmation of payments sent and alerts. I'll click the Transaction List button to open the list of downloaded transactions. The transaction list has been redesigned to make it easier for customers to review downloaded transactions and take action to add or ignore them. This is referred to as Express Mode. Customers will no longer see a pop-up asking if they would like to switch to Register Mode. If customers prefer Register Mode, they can change this in preference just like in past versions. In the past, the customer would have to switch from a single transaction view to a multiple transaction view. The redesigned transaction list will now default to a multiple transaction view and allow customers the option to add detail to their downloaded transactions as needed. I'll click the action field for the deposit dated 3-01-2013 in the amount of $2,333. I'll select Add More Details. Notice that the screen will allow users to apply downloaded deposits and checks to open invoices or bills. It will also allow users to split downloaded deposits and checks between multiple accounts and names. I'll check the box under the Open Invoices section 
to apply the deposit to the open invoice for Jason Birch. Then I'll click Add to QuickBooks. I'll put checks in the boxes for the checks dated 3-01-2013 for $25.67 and 3-03-2013 for the amount of $55.20. I'll click the Payee drop-down for these transactions and select Dago Lighting for both. I'll click the Account drop-down and enter Off for both transactions. Office Supplies will auto-populate. I'll click the Batch Actions button in the bottom left and select Add Approve. The Rule Creation window will open. Notice the option to click Don't Create Any Rules. Customers can click this if they don't want QuickBooks to automatically assign a name or an account to a downloaded transaction with the same description. I'll click the OK button to apply the renaming rule and return to the transaction list. The redesigned transaction list improves the customer experience with a color-coded quick reference to transactions that need to be added or approved and transactions that have automatically been matched or manually added to the register. Notice the orange section of transactions needing review. The red-orange indicates transactions that have been changed based on renaming rules but still need to be reviewed or added. Notice the blue section indicating the transactions that have been automatically matched to existing transactions but still need approval from the customer. Notice also the green section of the transactions that have been approved and added to the register. I'll click the blue section to display the auto match transactions. I'll check the first checkbox to mark off the transaction. I'll click the batch actions in the bottom left and select Add Approve. I'll click on Rules in the top left to open the Rules list. I'll double click the Auto Generate Rule 1 from the Rules list to open the Edit Rules Details window. The renaming rules feature has been redesigned in QuickBooks 2014 to improve the automation of adding downloaded transactions to QuickBooks. Customers can still rename the payee field based on the description of the downloaded transaction. In QuickBooks 2014, customers can also categorize to an account in QuickBooks based on this criteria. This solves for customer pain by making the adding process more efficient. In a later release of QuickBooks 2014, customers will be able to add rules to apply class tracking and flag downloaded transactions for review based on different criteria. I'll click the Save button then exit the rules list. I'll exit the transaction list and return to the bank feeds window. This completes the tutorial. You're encouraged to try utilizing the redesigned bank feed center on your own. If you get stuck, watch this tutorial again and then try again on your own. Thanks for watching.